It's no secret that the past few months have been tough for everyone and I'm no exception to that. I've seriously struggled with motivation to keep training hard with the prospect of any form of racing this year dwindling more and more day by day. Since starting competitive cycling all those years ago, I'm pretty sure that right now I'm the most physically unfit and out of shape I have ever been and it's time to change that. The guys over at Sufferfest have challenged me to a four week indoor training boot camp to get fit fitter and get somewhere closer to my former self. How physically fit can I get in four weeks? To gauge this effort, I'm gonna make two full gas ascents of a local climb, the Ashurst Beacon. This is a climb that I ride day in, day out. The climb is just over 3.4 kilometers in length. It has an average gradient of 4.6%, but at points it goes up to about 15. And the elevation difference from the bottom to the top is 160 meters. So I thought it would be the perfect gauge to my fitness. We'll do one ascent at the start of the challenge and then a final one at the end of the challenge in four weeks time. I'm definitely the type of person that works better with a goal in mind and something to aim for. So hopefully this challenge slash experiment will bring some sort of structure slash routine and ultimately motivation that I've been lacking recently. All right, so we've got the Watch Strava live segment here. It's the second one down. As you can see, my personal best is seven minutes and 58 seconds. I don't imagine we're gonna be beating that time tonight. We're just gonna be using time as the measure today. I haven't got power on this bike yet. I'm still waiting for a different bottom bracket to arrive so I can attach my power meter to this bike. But I think it might be quite cool to go in completely blind and just go completely off feel. And so you guys know that I'm going full gas 100%. I've got a heart rate monitor on. So without further ado, let's go and try and ride up a hill fast. far more painful than it should have been but in terms of time you can see the time there is eight minutes 11 seconds which is like what 13 seconds slower than my best time at this climb which i feel like isn't too bad uh, but at least now i've got a, a nice benchmark and i'm confident we can train hard for a month train specifically for that effort and we can come back and we can smash that time so when we head over to the Sufferfest app on the computer, we can head over to training plans. And as you can see on the left-hand side here, we've got a whole host of different training plans, road plans, gravel plans. We've even got an eSport racing specific plan for if you're wanting to get fit to race on Zwift. Now, all of these conventional road plans are 12 weeks long. Unfortunately, we've only got four weeks for this little boot camp thing that we're doing. So I'm gonna head down to the special focus section. We've got the volcano climbing plan here, which is designed to improve our climbing climbing in four weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that plan from today's date and uh, we're gonna add it to our library. So this is my training plan now for the next four weeks. You can see the total time over there on the right hand side. Day number one, which is what we're gonna do right now is just a recovery, a 30 minute recovery spin. So that should be a nice, easy way to get into the swing of things. And then the proper training starts tomorrow. So it's day number three right now. I've just loaded up Sufferfest and I'm looking at the calendar. And today's workout is just this 38 minutes cadence session. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we just completed the workout. Day number three done. 27 days to go. What's up guys, welcome to day number four. I'm just checking out the scheduled training on my training plan today. And it looks like it's gonna be the first kind of real harder day 
on the bike today. We've basically got 10 minutes of over under threshold into three different eight minute blocks here with spikes up at zone five. But the time that I'm gonna be looking for on the actual climb at the end of this challenge is around seven to eight minutes. So these eight minute efforts are gonna be perfect for that. I think we're on about day number five right now. I'm just currently doing the session. We're about a third of the way through. It's a pretty grippy one today. We've got some low cadence efforts. Basically riding zone four slash zone five, but at like 60 to 70 RPM. I'm having to try quite hard. It is actually a fairly hard session, but I guess these are the ones that make the most benefit. So after day number 15, I didn't actually complete the prescribed training for four days. The reason was because I was taking part in the Red Bull time lapse, the videos on my channel if you haven't seen it already. Originally, I wanted to take two days off, but just because I was so tired, it ended up being four. All right, breakfast is going down right now. We've got the standard stuff, a black coffee and some porridge just cooking up right now. Getting ready for another big session on the turbo. Good morning. It's the final day of uh, the plan today. It's actually, I'm actually going to be finishing the plan one day short of the final day just because logistically I haven't got time to do the final day plus have a rest and then do the final ascent up the, the KOM. It just works better this way. Not going to lie, pretty tired now. I still don't think that I fully recovered from the Red Bull time lapse, to be honest, but we move. And honestly, October was the best time to do this challenge because it's just been so wet this month, like it has rained almost every day. So for the final session, we're doing another cadence workout today. It's essentially just building up from a lower cadence until we're at complete max. It's 45 minutes in length. It shouldn't be the hardest, most strenuous workout, which is good. It allows some time to rest up now before the KOM effort. So, sports fans, after 24 hours of training over the past 27 days, the moment was here. All those grueling hours of training, it all came down to this one moment. Just how fit have I got in one month? How fast can I ride this climb? We're about to find out. All right, I think it is the 4th of November. Today is Judgment Day. I'm heading out to Ashes Beacon where I was exactly one month ago. Oh, just a little bit less actually. Doing uh, doing my, my max effort. We're heading out there again today. It's a sim the conditions today are similar, very light wind. The time we're gonna try and be on the Wahoo is eight minutes, 11 seconds. My personal best, I think it was seven minutes, 58. So that's gonna be the target for today. No chance I'm gonna be taking the KOM. I'm certainly not that fit, but I do think I am fitter than I was last time, so. You know, if I, get, if, I manage to go, if I manage to go under 7 minutes of 58, I think I'll be happy. So I've just realised that I forgot the bolt for my GoPro mount, which means I can't attach the GoPro to my bike and I can't exactly hold it whilst I'm doing the effort. So I guess I'll see you on the other side of this climb. Me that tickled. I definitely felt faster. I was in I was in the big ring the whole way up the climb. The last time I remember having to go into the to the small ring to spin a higher cadence. And we've got it here in the live segments. We did seven minutes and 39 seconds, which is like 19 seconds quicker than my previous fastest time. So we we absolutely smashed the previous time of eight minutes eleven seconds up here by around half a minute. So if we kind of equate that, that means that the training that we did over the past month well equated to about a second per day. That's a pretty sick way to look at it. When we look at the live segment, as you can see the KOM there is 6 minutes 53. A 7 minutes 39 will put us in 6th, 7th position. So definitely a valiant effort and one that I'm pretty happy with. We managed to make some pretty significant gains over the past 30 days of training. Now I just need to ride home before it goes dark. There we have it. How fit can you get in one month using Sulfur First? 
and I think the answer is pretty fit. I completed about 90% of the training, I think. There was one or two days that I did actually go outside to ride with my friends as opposed to training on the indoor trainer, which I think is okay. I mean, the longer programs on the Suffer Fest app do actually have outdoor rides like prescribed into them, so not every single session is on the indoor trainer. If any of you guys wanna check out the Suffer Fest yourself, all the details will be in the description down below. Now is the perfect time to get started with one of the 12 week programs to get fit for next year, or perhaps you just wanna do a little bit better in Zwift races so you can check out the e-racing training programs on the platform. That's it from me, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.